Now it's connecting to Facebook. Okay. We're going to switch. Okay, good afternoon, everybody. Today, we are joined with Frank Chester, an artist, sculptor, researcher, known for discovering the Chestahedron which is a unique seven-sided geometric form, which has given us profound implications to understand the human heart. Also, Frank's work has bridged between art and science and its connection with the forces of nature. Let's welcome Frank Chester, and we are so excited to hear more about this journey and this groundbreaking discoveries. Welcome, Frank. How are you doing today? Thank you. Yeah, I'm doing fine. Thank you for asking. Can you share a little bit about yourself? Who is Frank? <clears throat> well, I'm a, <clears throat> I'm a real lucky person that I was able to bring this down and to research it for uh, 25 years. I've been working on this. So I'm very fortunate on... Um, <clears throat> on the path of finding something new. And uh, I didn't start out with anything like that. I just started out with a question. And uh, the question was answered, and then I had more questions. And so I guess I'm the answer guy. Yes. Bueno, hoy estamos con Frank Chester, quien es un artista, un escultor y un investigador quien es conocido por haber descubierto el chestahidro. Es una figura geométrica del corazón de siete lados, con implicaciones importantes de conocer más acerca de cómo funciona el corazón. El trabajo de Frank ha unido la ciencia con, la, con el arte. Y él está aquí para compartir cómo descubrió él esta figura geométrica del corazón. Frank, can you share the moment when you first realized you were on the path to discovering the chestahedron? How did this discovery change your perspective on geometry? ¿Podrías compartir, Frank, el momento en el que te diste cuenta por primera vez de que estabas en el camino hacia el descubrimiento del chestahidro. ¿Cómo cambió este descubrimiento tu perspectiva sobre la geometría? Well, when I retired uh, at 60 or 59. Cuando me retiré a la edad de 60 años. I didn't know anything about geometry. No sabía nada acerca de la geometría. But it took a class, and in the class, they covered what was called platonic forms. Y tomó una clase en donde le enseñaron sobre las formas platónicas. And with that, I studied geometry on my own. Y con eso, estudié geometría por mi cuenta. And so, how it changed me is it, it made my life exciting at 60 years old. Y eso me hizo sentir muy emocionado a la edad de 60 años. And it still is today. Y hasta ahora ha sido así. Nice. Uh, the chestahedron is a seven-faced polyhedron, unlike any previously known shape. How did you feel when you realized you had discovered something truly unique in the world of geometry? El chestahidro es un poliedro de siete caras, diferente a cualquier forma conocida anteriormente. ¿Cómo te sentiste cuando te diste cuenta de que habías descubierto algo realmente único en el mundo de la geometría? Well, I, I just, 
just it built my en enthusiasm for my oh, life. After enthusiasm. Yeah, my my enthusiasm for life uh, at 60 years old just took off. And so I am so grateful for this discovery. And actually, that's that's the best part of the discoveries. La, la parte más importante del descubrimiento ha sido que me ha vuelto el entusiasmo a la edad de 60 años. You describe your work as combining both art and science. How does the gestahedron bridge these two, two fields and what can we learn from this synthesis? Describes tu trabajo como una combinación entre el arte y la ciencia. ¿Cómo conecta el gestahedron en estos dos campos y qué podemos aprender de esta síntesis? Was that your phone or mine? I believe it was your phone. Give me a second. Sure, absolutely. Okay, vamos a esperar un momento porque Frank se fue a contestar el teléfono y ya viene. Así que si tienen alguna pregunta, al final se les responderá, pero realmente ha sido una, una gran alegría eh, poder haber coordinado con Frank Chester y conocer de su, de su persona en vivo acerca de ese gran descubrimiento. Como les indicaba, eh, todo su trabajo está en el idioma inglés, tanto en sus 100 conferencias como también en su canal de YouTube. Y esta es la primera entrevista que ha sido traducida simultáneamente al español. Así que muchas gracias por estar aquí. Cuéntenme qué saben sobre la geometría sagrada. ¿Han utilizado tal vez la geometría sagrada en sus terapias? Eh, ¿Sabían que nosotros reconocemos las frecuencias de la geometría? ¿Ya está Frank de regreso? Uh, ¿Do you remember the question or you want me to uh, go over the question again? No, no, I know the question. Yeah. I have the question. Yes. Um, well, <clears throat> the chestahedron was discovered artistically. El chestahedro fue descubierto de manera artística. I tried science. E traté uh, por medio de la ciencia. And didn't work. Y no pudo, no, no fue por ahí. <clears throat> The Chesterhaven was started with a question on what does a seven-sided form look like? El descubrimiento comenzó con la simple pregunta de cómo empezó el... Uh, cómo, cómo empezó con la pregunta de cómo sería una figura de siete lados. So the Chesterhaven was discovered artistically and then it was a, applied to science. Fue descubierto a través de lo artístico y luego fue aplicado a la ciencia. If I hadn't had my artistic background, I would have never found it. Si no tenía mi lado artístico, estoy seguro que nunca lo hubiese encontrado. The problem is, is that many people use geometry but not artistically. Muchas personas utilizan la geometría pero no de manera artística. I found five different ways to create the chestahedron. Encontré cinco maneras para crear el chestahedro. So um, when it comes to geometry cuando se trata de la geometría you You have two things going on. One. Tienes dos cosas que están pasando. La una. One is facts. And the other one is conclusions. La una son los hechos y las otras son las conclusiones. And conclusions or ideas or concepts or images are not y, facts. Y las conclusiones son ideas y no hechos. So many things that 
are coming through through geometry are Entonces, not lawful. A través de la geometría. They're not lawful. So um, this is the chetahedron. Y este es el chetahedron. And it has seven sides. Tiene siete lados. Has seven points. Siete puntas. Siete ángulos. And it has 12 edges. Y tiene 12 eh, lados. <clears throat> this is not a platonic poem. Y no es una figura platónica. And the reason is, is because this face is different than this face. La razón es porque esta cara es diferente a esta otra cara de acá. This is a kite and this is a triangle. Y tenemos los triángulos y la forma de las cometas. And they have the same surface areas, all seven. Tienen las mismas uh, áreas de áreas. So let me start with this. If you draw a circle, si tú un círculo, any size, cualquier, ta cualquier tamaño. Then you draw a second circle. Y luego dibujas otro segundo círculo. And you have two. Now they're both the same size. Y ahora tienes dos del mismo tamaño. And the center of this circle. Y en el centro de este círculo. You move over to the edge, which is the periphery. Te mueves hacia la, a, a la periferia. And now you make the second circle. Y ahora haces el segundo círculo. This part right here. Y esa parte que estoy indicando. Es la vesica. And the distance from here to here. Y la distancia de aquí acá. And from here to here. Y la acá acá. Are all the same. Son la misma. Now, if oh. I draw a line from here to here. Ahora la distancia de ahí allá. And the line from the center to the center. Y la línea del centro al centro. I get a cross. Hice una cruz. That looks like this. ¿Qué es, qué es así? ¿Cómo le indico? No matter what size circle you use, you always get the same cross. No importa el tamaño del círculo, siempre llegas a la misma cruz. So, <clears throat> if I take a stick and make it exactly the size of the top to the bottom, Si tomo un, un palo, una regla, va a ser el mismo tamaño. And I put that stick, y pongo ese stick, palo, into a cube. Uh -huh. That's known as root three. Esa es la raíz de tres. So root three in a cube. Entonces, la raíz de tres en un cubo is root, through, through, is root three in a vesica. Es una raíz de tres y es una vesica. So, to make sure that this is right with the cube. Y estar seguros de que esto está coordinado con el cubo. You have to make sure that's the same size as the cross and the vesica. So here it is. Here is the This is really important because this geometry is very, very significant in the world of geometry. Y esto es muy significativo en el mundo de la geometría. I'll put it down to the bottom of the cube. Then you can see that it's accurate. See how the it's at the bottom? Mm -hmm. Where I put it's the same. And if I put it right up to here, it's the same. See? Wow. Now that's amazing. So Absolutely. Any, anytime you draw this, you have are drawing a three-dimensional cube. Now remember, this is two dimension. Recuerda que esto es de dos dimensiones y el cubo es de tres dimensiones. So <clears throat> 
This geometry was one of the first ever discovered by the human being. Y esta es una de las figuras geométricas, una de las primeras descubiertas por los las personas o por la humanidad. And it's one of the most sacred geometric symbols ever derived. Y es una de las más importantes de la humanidad, derivadas de la humanidad. It's the balance between harmony. Es el balance de la armonía. And it's been used as the union of heaven and earth. Y muchas personas lo utilizan entre la unión de it's the, cielo. it's the balance between opposites. Y es el balance entre opuestos también. <clears throat> All you have to do is go out to the beach and make two circles. Puedes ir a la playa y hacer dos círculos. And you get root three. Y tú obtienes la raíz de tres. So, I just, I, this is the, this, the tree of life comes from this. La árbol de la vida viene de esto. The seed of life. The flower of life el all comes from this, from this dimension, and, and, and all of those have root three and one. Y todas esas vienen de la raíz de tres. Here you have three root threes. Y ahí tienes tres raíces de tres. Makes a perfect triangle. Y hace un triángulo. Perfecto. And you can put a circle in the middle of the triangle. Y puedes poner un círculo en la mitad del triángulo. And you can do this infinity or all the way down to nothing. Y puedes seguir haciendo esto hasta el infinito. <clears throat> Now, this comes the interesting part. Ahora viene lo interesante. If you take the chest of Hadron, si tú tomas el chestahidro, and I take the root three, y tomo la raíz tres, yeah, you guys see that root three, y puedes ver esa raíz de tres. If I take the root three out, si yo saco la eh, raíz de tres, and I put it on the chestahidro. Y le puedo poner en el chesta hidro. It's exactly the es side exact of the triangle. Es exactamente el tamaño del triángulo. ¿Qué tal? Now I take the root two, or uh, uh, the one out of the cube, right? Remember, that's the one. Okay, so you said you take the root two right now? And I put it at the top. Y le pongo encima. The chestahedron is made from root three and one. The ah, same. el chestahedro está hecho de la raíz de tres y la raíz de uno. The chestahedron is made with only two measurements. Y el chestahedro está hecho solamente con dos medidas. The red and the green. El rojo y el verde. That makes a chestahedron. That's all it takes. There's no two measurements out of a cube. Isn't that amazing? It's, uh, it's unheard of. How could you take a two-dimensional form like I showed you, which is the basis of the tree of life and everything, and make a third-dimensional form on it that has seven sides that's Ajá. ¿Cómo puedes tomar una figura geométrica de primer plano y hacer algo de, en, de tercera dimensión y, y crear el chestahidron de esa figura geométrica? Impresionante. Realmente es un descubrimiento muy... There's the red and the green. Mm -hmm. There's the red and the green. Wow. Yes. This is the most amazing discovery ever. 
Este es el descubrimiento más impresionante que se ha hecho. So, I'll show you again. There's a cube. Entonces, hay un cubo. Okay, take the green off. And there it is at the bottom of the cube. Perfect, perfect cube. Now take the second measurement off the chestahedron. Y vamos a sacar la segunda medida del chestahedron. Mm -hmm. I mean, <clears throat> you know, I could cross a threshold and be happy just from this, just from finding these, these two, that it is related to the vesica, is unheard of. Wow. Unheard. Of. Podemos ver cómo esa medida del palo rojo entra perfectamente en el cubo. So I'm, I'm now gonna, I'm going to put a small one of these and see what it fits into. Ahora le voy a poner uno más pequeño para ver. So there's the chestahedron in the cube. Ahí está el chestahedron en el que estaba en el cubo. It fits. Y and entra. it fits at root three. Y entra perfectamente al, en la raíz de tres. That's, wow. Who would ever think that a seven-sided form would it sit into a six-sided form? ¿Quién va a pensar que una figura de siete lados va a entrar en una figura de seis lados? So, one point says the vesica. I'm I'm sorry. One point one point hits the corner. Una vez que llega a la esquina, which is called a okay, and then one edge, two edges, three oh. edges touch the side of the cube. En, 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 toca el, el lado del cubo, un lado, sí. Side right there, and the other three hit the face. Y los otros tres lados es, eh, es, dan a la cara, a la otra cara del cubo. Ok, so, this is a whole new way of approaching platonic forms. Esta es una nueva manera de mirar a las formas platónicas. This is asymmetrical. Es but the asymmetrical. Cube is symmetrical. Okay, so <clears throat> this is the way Esta es la manera? that the heart sits in the body. Así es como el, el corazón de esa manera está en nuestro cuerpo. It sits in the body of between 35 and 36 degrees. En, en nuestro cuerpo, el corazón está localizado aproximadamente a 35 o 36 grados. This, this, this angle has never been found by any of the cardiologists in their research. Este ángulo nunca ha sido encontrado ni siquiera por los mismos cardiólogos. So what's is very important is uh, when we go back to what I originally said, there's a different thing. Between facts and conclusions. Y por eso digo que una cosa son los hechos y otra cosa son las conclusiones. So I studied the heart at a university library for over a year. I checked out all the library books they had at the University of California, San Francisco. And in... I'm sorry. Yo estudié sobre el corazón en la Universidad de San Francisco en la librería y, es, y leí muchísimos libros acerca del corazón. And this is what I found. Y esto es lo que encontré. They said that the heart, this is right out of the textbooks that all these doctors learn from. Que todos los libros donde los doctores aprenden. They say the heart sits at 45 degrees. Y dicen que el corazón 
está a 45 grados. Eso dicen los libros de la medicina. This was so exciting for me to find. Eso fue muy emocionante de encontrar para mí. Because this shows that porque esto demuestra that the heart sits in the cube. que el corazón eh, entra dentro de un cubo. Because these are three views. The top, porque son tres maneras de ver al corazón. La parte de arriba, the front, la parte del frente and the side. y la parte del lado. So that's what this is. Let me show you this. If you look at the side of the cube, it's 45 degrees, just like they said. And if you look at the front, that's 45 degrees. Uh -huh. And if you look at the top, it's 45 degrees. 45 grados. So they just proved my point. Entonces han probado <laughs> mi punto. I could be all happy I was to find this. They are saying, of course, they don't know that it sits in a cube. They don't know. Pero no saben que, está, que se, se sienta sobre un cubo. But <clears throat> a three-dimensional object does not sit in a cube at 45 degrees. Pero un, una figura de tres dimensiones no entra en, en un cubo. It's between 35 and 36 degrees. Es entre 35 y 36 grados. Which is root three in the cube. Es la raíz de tres. Isn't that wonderful to find that? Wow, that is amazing. Uh, the most amazing part is how you found, you know, the chestahedron, the geometric form of the heart through art and not through science, but however, science is confirming your findings. Exactly. That's exactly what they're doing. Mm -hmm. Entonces, él a través de la geometría descubre la forma del corazón, pero lo confirma con la ciencia que lo que él encontró está en lo correcto. Okay. <clears throat> That's what I'm going to show you. That I put the chestahedron in edges only, no faces, right? Solamente en las esquinas. So the bottom is also a triangle. Entonces la parte de abajo del chestahedron también viene siendo un triángulo. If I spin it. Si yo le doy la vuelta. The two circles arrive. Los dos círculos. There's an outer circle. Hay un círculo de afu hacia afuera. And an inner circle. Y un círculo eh, dentro del chestahedron. I see that. Wow. That's right. So the outer one is at the edges here. So if I turn it, it turns round. Hard to see though. And oh. then on the inner side, there's a smaller one. I, can you see that all? Oh. And you see those are turning into circles. Y ves cuando se gira el chestahedron, se forman dos círculos. Okay. So I was very, very pleased to find that. Y estuve uh, muy complacido de encontrar esto también. Because I found a dissection of the human heart from the top. Porque encontré una disección del corazón. So the outside of the heart is a circle. Porque la parte de afuera del corazón también es un círculo. And the inside is a smaller circle. Y en la parte de adentro también hay un círculo. And so, what I did... Círculo? I made those two circles and put it around the heart. Puse esos círculos y le puse ahí alrededor del corazón. 
Now this size here. Ahora este tamaño aquí. Is the mitral valve. Es la eh, válvula mitral válvula. It's where the blood enters in from the atrium. Es donde la válvula entra por la arteria. And then it exits out of the heart. Y de ahí sale del corazón. It, it exits from the aorta. It sale de la aorta. And here's the aorta valve. It's at an angle. Okay. But, and also to show you that triangle and how it relates to the, they call them cups or cups. Y esos triángulos de co le llaman como copas. The heart is broken into three. One, two, three. And right where the circles create is where the valve has been designed. Y donde están esos círculos es donde están las válvulas diseñadas. Wow, I see that geometric. I see the circle. Unbelievable, unbelievable. So I, I have another, a little small one. It might be easier to see. Entonces, ahí podemos ver la figura geométrica del triángulo y del círculo. So, clearly, we can see the triangle and the circle there, right? Yeah. Wow. You can. Now, remember, the heart is organic, so it doesn't make a perfect circle. But the basic ahora, geometry. Ahora, recuerda que el corazón es orgánico y no necesariamente hace un círculo perfecto, pero es un círculo. So this circle right here, I didn't draw in. Y este círculo, yo no lo dibujo, eh? That's the size of the aortic valve. Ese es el tamaño de la arteria de la aorta. This size is exactly half of this size. Ese es el tamaño de la mitad de este tamaño. And the heart research says y la, y la investigación del corazón dice that the micro valve is twice as big as the aorta. Oh, que la válvula micro es más grande que la aorta. Pretty exciting for me to find this. All right, so now here comes a good question that I'm hoping some people have. Ok, ahora vienen las, las preguntas que espero que algunas personas la tengan. Doesn't look like the heart. No se parece al corazón. It doesn't. That's not how the heart looks. We know how it looks. But it doesn't look like this. So how can you possibly take this and make it look and have the shape of the heart? Pero ¿cómo puedes pensar que eso va a tener la... la... La forma geométrica exacta del corazón. So if I blow a bubble into this. Si yo, yo eh, soplo una burbuja dentro de esta figura. Out of soap, you know. And <clears throat> it creates minimum surfaces. Y crea eh, círculos menores. All geometric forms are trying to become a sphere. Y las figuras geométricas eh, se convierten como en una esfera. So when I build the bubble in here. Cuando soplo las, las burbujas. These edges keep the bubble in a certain shape. Estas, estas, uh, estas uh, digamos, partes que mantienen el, a la, la forma del círculo. So the bubble isn't a circle anymore, or is it a sphere? It's not a sphere anymore. Entonces ya no es una esfera. This is what happens when you blow a bubble into a chest of Eso. Eso es lo que pasa cuando soplas una, eh, las, la, la, las burbujas dentro de la chest of hydra. So you're saying that when you blow inside the chestahedron, it becomes spheres or it becomes like a vortex? It becomes this shape. Oh, I see. Entonces dice que esa es la figura que cuando él sopla esas burbujas dentro, 
Esa es la figura geométrica que sale cuando sopla la burbuja. So it's kind of a cube, right? Just like this. This is it. And there it is inside there. That same yes, shape is right la there. Forma. So. Here's the heart. Aquí está el corazón. Now the heart has four chambers. And Ahora el corazón tiene como cuatro cámaras. And all the studies are always done on the left ventricle. Y todos los estudios se han hecho en la ventrícula eh, izquierda. Thick muscle. Es un músculo muy grueso. Now the right ventricle is very thin, so they cut it off. El, el, la ventrícula derecha es muy delgada, y si la cortas... And this is it here. They cut this off, and this is what remains. Y esto es lo que quedaría si la cortas. And here's the chest of hydro. Y aquí está el chest of hydro. This is the chest of hydro bubble, and there's the real heart. Aquí está el, uh, esa sería la, lo que eh, se parece a la chesta hidro a la, de lo que salió de las burbujas, ¿recuerdan? Y este es el corazón. Entonces podemos ver cómo exactamente se parecen. So now you know how the chesta hidro becomes organic. This is how organic shapes are made. Y ahora podemos ver cómo el chesta hidro es una, una forma geométrica de lo orgánico. And how they enter into nature. Y también cómo eh, entran también en, dentro de la naturaleza también las figuras. That is amazing discovery. Oh, listen, that I could make it into an organic shape and learn that that's how organic shapes are developed. Y así es como las, las digamos, las formas orgánicas se forman. So you would say that any organic, like our, our organs, basically, we can say that they all have a similarity with, with geometry. They do. Okay. All Does have a design behind them. They're, they're, the organs aren't random. Mm -hmm. Entonces, no es coincidencia que tengamos la or, los órganos de esa forma. So it's no coincidence that the heart has that shape. See, see everything is based uh, on lawfulness. Todo está basado en leyes. And lawfulness has a geometric pattern. Y las leyes tienen un, su geometría sagrada, las leyes natura, de la naturaleza. If we go outside, right, um, nature, and we observe a flower, we can observe their geometry in every single thing that we see around. Absolutely. It's in, all, it's in as far as behind you. So there is a lawful pattern, okay, that's connected geometry. Hay un patrón en la naturaleza que está conectado con la naturaleza. Okay, so um, the next thing I kind of like to talk about is the vortex. La otra cosa que quiero eh, hablar es sobre la vortis, el vortice. So you have a question for the vortex. Uh, Tienen alguna pregunta sobre el vortex. Well, that's why I heard, you know, in some, uh, I think Rudolf Steiner also, he said, you know, the heart is not a pump. Um, habíamos escuchado también a Rudolf Steiner eh, que decía que el corazón no es una bomba simplemente. Well, there's a lot of people now that are saying that the heart is not a pump, okay? Hay mucha gente que está diciendo que el corazón no es una, una bomba. And that the heart is not a pump is what I say about a fact and conclusions. Eso es sobre los, uh, la relación entre hechos y conclusiones. They have concluded Han concluido that the heart is a pump. 
the heart is a pump? No, it is not. Okay, que el corazón no es simplemente una bomba. They've concluded that the heart is not a pump. Yes. Han concluido que el corazón no es simplemente una bomba. But a conclusion is not a fact. Pero una conclusión no necesariamente es un hecho. It's an idea. Es una idea. Now, Galileo, when he was developing his telescope, Cuando Galileo estaba eh, descubriendo su telescopio, he had a friend, and his name was Harvey. Su amigo Harvey. And Harvey discovered that the blood circulated through the blood, through the body. Y Harvey descubrió que la sangre circulaba por, las, por, la, por el cuerpo. And that was a fantastic discovery. Y fue una descubrimiento fantástico. So he said the only way that the blood can circulate is because there's a pump. Y dijo que la única manera que puede circular es porque el corazón es una bomba. That was a conclusion. Eso era una conclusión. So from that time on, from Galileo, de ese tiempo acá, de ese Galileo, all the way up to today, hasta hoy, people are still saying it's a pump because of what Harvey said. Todo mundo dice que el corazón es una bomba por lo que Harvey dijo. So, <clears throat> I have two examples that I've found. Tengo dos ejemplos que he encontrado. That I would like you to consider. Que quisiera que consideren. About the doctors today's conclusion. Acerca de lo que los doctores dicen o de las conclusiones de los doctores. That the heart is a pump. Que el corazón es una bomba. There was a baby that was born. Había un bebé que nació. Without a heart. Sin un corazón. It lived two days. He lived two days? It survived two days without oh. having a heart. Sobrevivió dos días sin tener un corazón. Okay. Next example. Some people have a pacemaker. Algunas personas tienen lo que se llaman los uh, marcapasos. Operated and put into the body. Eh, que son puestos dentro del corazón, del cuerpo. And it can be controlled from outside. Y puede ser controlado desde afuera. When they speed the heart up with the pacemaker. Cuando aceleran el corazón con este marcapasos. Less blood comes out of the heart. De menos sangre viene de la sangre. Menos sangre viene del corazón. So what kind of pump is that? Entonces, ¿qué clase de bomba es esa? Now, there's lots of people who have all kinds of ideas of, of, about the heart not being a pump. Ahora, hay muchas personas con diferentes ideas de por qué el corazón no es una bomba. <clears throat> so from that, Research. Entonces, de dentro de esa investigación o de esa investigación. I was inspired to see what the chestahedron said about not being a pump. Y de ahí estaba mi investigación eh, interesado en mi investigación de cómo el chestahedron podría demostrar de que el corazón no es una bomba. So I figured out how to make an example of the heart going through the blood, uh, going through the heart, the blood. Like going through the heart. I'm sorry. Entonces voy a hacer un ejemplo de cómo el, el, la sangre va eh, eh, dentro del corazón. So the blood coming into the mitral valve. Entonces la, la sangre viniendo por la válvula micro eh, válvula. Vortex is clockwise. El vortex de, en el sentido de, del reloj. The blood coming out of the heart from the aorta. El corazón saliendo de la aorta. Digo, el, la, la sangre, perdón. Turns anticlos. 
anti-clockwise. So how does the blood enter the heart and reverse the vortex coming out? Y reversa a la vortex hacia afuera, en reversa. They have no idea. No tienen ni siquiera idea. I figured out how it works, and it's very simple. If you can see the air Encontré la respuesta y es bien simple. Yeah. One's going clockwise, one is going the opposite direction. Now what? Una está yendo hacia la dirección de, del reloj y otra está yendo a, a lo opuesto de la de las manecillas del reloj. So the doctors say that the blood goes in and stops. Entonces los doctores dicen que el, 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 la sangre entra y entonces para. And it reverses this vortex and goes out. Y entonces reversa el vortex hacia afuera. The blood never stops. Eh, la sangre nunca para. It can reverse. Puede revertir. And then go forward again. Y de ahí comenzar de nuevo otra vez. But the blood isn't stopping in the heart. El cor eh, la sangre no está parando en, la, en el corazón. So I, I made another model. Hice otro modelo. And this one I put the air to arch. Y ahí puse la horta. The blood is coming out. El blood, la sangre está saliendo. The blood's coming in. Y la, y la sangre entra y sale. So you have to look right here because that's where the... Y it, tienes que fijarte aquí. So here we go. La, look at that. It's going in opposite directions. You see that? Yendo en dirección opuesta. Si pueden mirar, si se, se fija. And then if you look inside the aorta here, si miras adentro de la aorta, it's turning in the opposite directions as the part that's coming out. Está uh, yendo en la dirección but, opuesta. Can you see it? Yes. So the blood comes in clockwise, leaves anti-clockwise, goes over the aorta and goes down the body clockwise. Mm -hmm. Entonces la sangre entra eh, en dirección del, del, uh, del reloj hacia la derecha y luego sale en dirección opuesta hacia la izquierda. Now this is something that you need to know that your heart is doing. Esto tú necesitas saber. That's an amazing discovery. Isn't that amazing? That is amazing. This is very, very unique. Esto es realmente único, el descubrimiento. Cómo a través del, del arte se puede llegar a descubrir algo eh, como la, el funcionamiento del corazón. So here's the chestahedron. Y aquí está el chestahedron. With the form inside. Con la forma adentro. Okay, here's the mitral valve. Y está la válvula, micro válvula. There's the aorta. Y aquí está la aorta. Out of the chestahedron form inside. Un chestahedron en la forma adentro. El chestahedron. Yeah, the scientists have no idea about this, how this happens. Twice as big. Mm -hmm. So this one is twice as big as this one. They have no idea why. Y no tienen idea porque la una es, es más grande del doble de la otra. So this is the chamber inside the heart. Y esta es de la, digamos, la cámara dentro del corazón. So this is the aorta. Esta es la aorta. Natural. So it comes in, goes up. Entra. In opposite directions. <laughs> so one of the things that I discovered is now this is a mystery they call an enigma. 
This is a mystery that they call enigma. Okay, este es un misterio que le llaman el enigma. They've been trying to study uh, study how the muscles in the heart work. Han estado uh, estudiando los músculos, el, cómo trabaja los músculos del corazón. So this is an example. Study, uh, study how the muscles in the heart work. So they figured that the, it spirals in one direction and leaves out the other direction, of course. Because of the speed, eh, es, eh, la sangre da como en forma de espiral de una dirección y luego sale de la otra dirección. They figured this happens through planes. Y eso se dieron cuenta que eh, pasa en, en los planos. Uh, sheets. They think it's two sheets on top of each other. See that? Mm -hmm. Okay. And they spin it into a cone. Y lo dan la vuelta en, en como dentro de, de, de un cono. Of course, this was done by a, a doctor 150 years ago. Yes, sir. Uh, so you, this drawing was made by a doctor? Yeah, he, <clears throat> he concluded. Él concluyó. But was not a fact. No era un hecho. But he, Pero, did make, he, he attempted to understand how this happens. Pero él intentó saber cómo pasa esto. And to this day, they're still doing the same mistake. Y hasta ahora, es el día de ahora, están dando con el mismo, eh, digamos, error. O llegan al mismo error. This is an MIR. Este es un MIR, MRI, es un examen que hacen del corazón. Yeah, it's based on magnets. Está basado en, en es como, está, es, a, eso magnético que te ponen adentro y pueden mirar el, el corazón, el M MRI, sí. And they've also tried uh, other devices to, to figure this out. Uh, de, de estudiar el, el corazón utilizando también otro tipo de, de mecanismos, ¿no? Using electricity. Usando, por ejemplo, electricidad. Sound. El sonido. Scaffolding. Dissections. Disecciones. No, this has helped. Y nada de esto ha ayudado. The machine is not helping them. Las máquinas no le está ayudando. This was figured out. Esto se encontró. Esto no se encontró con ninguna máquina. So, what happens is that uh, there are eight. There are layers of the heart. Entonces, the hay como... Eh, Layers, este, partes del, del corazón, uno encima de otro. And they change directions from the outside to the inside. Y cambian direcciones de la, de la, hacia afuera y hacia adentro. The direction is this way, and they cut a layer off, and then it gets this way. They cut a layer off until all the layer gets even, and then it reverses direction. Wow. And here's the real heart that shows that. Y ahí está el, 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 la, la forma de la, del corazón, de un corazón real. And this, this, this is 60 degrees, and the last one is 60 degrees. 60 degrees? Yes. En 60, 60 grados. 60. 60. 60. 60. Okay, so they think it's planes. They think there's their sheets. <clears throat> this won't work. And yet they're still using the same example that was done 150 years ago, including the guy uh, that just did the one with the MIR. He's supposed to be the, you know, the head, the head guy. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Now, the reason this doesn't work, okay, is because sheets can't go around the corner. So, if you have a sheet running here, up, up here, it, you can't bend a sheet of paper and then go back down in. You can't do it. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you take a sheet and make it go like this, all right. Una parte del corazón, digamos un, un layer, una, una superficie the del corazón. The sheet isn't going around. You no. can't make it go around. Laura so, no puede ir. I have discovered what this is, how this works. They're ribbons. Ah, son como, como si fueran cintas. Las, las uh, partes del, del corazón son como 12, 12 layers. No sé cómo se dice los layers. 12, um, o como si fueran hojas. And here are the ribbons. The outside is 60. Afuera son, afuera son como 60. It goes down and then it goes in the opposite direction. Look at that. La, la dirección opuesta. So we're talking about the muscle, right? Yes. Estamos hablando sobre el músculo del corazón. Esa sería como la forma del músculo. Ahora comprendo. Entonces ahora podemos visualizar lo que él está explicando. Entonces si vemos que unos van para hacia un lado, los otros van hacia otro lado. Entonces esa sería la forma del músculo del corazón. So this is the archetype of the human heart. Structure. So these are ribbons. This is the first ribbon that goes on the outside of the heart. It goes over the top and goes inside and becomes eight. So this one, this one is eight, which is the inside. Now if I follow this all around, okay. So the part that you're showing us right now, you would, it's that's the inside of the heart. Yes. Entonces, esa, lo que nos está enseñando es la parte de adentro del corazón. So the outside of the heart is the same la... like as the inside. And they don't know this. Y no, y los médicos no lo saben acerca de esto. And the top, okay. Y la parte de... Triangle and the base, okay. They cut it off. They cut this off. All of them are cutting the top off. All of them. Yeah, they cut the top off the heart here. Here. Le cortan la parte de arriba. Mm -hmm. Here, here, they all cut the top off. Oh, Why? these dibujos están cortados la parte de arriba del corazón. Okay, si sí, podemos visualizar lo que él está explicando, okay, con esos dibujos. And the reason they do that. Y la razón por la que hacen eso. Because that's the only way that sheets will work. Y esa es la única manera de, de cómo trabajarían, digamos, las, las hojas o los... They also cut the bottom off. Y también la parte de abajo lo, lo, lo quitan. Why the would you draw the heart and take the uh, the part um, from the top and the bottom? Yeah, and you can see there's ribbons. Look, those aren't sheets. Uh huh. Nos está enseñando la estructura de, del corazón como son como, como fibras, ¿no? El, el músculo. They have no idea why the heart or how it does the spiral. They have no idea. Y no tenían idea cómo es esto sucede sobre la espiral del corazón. Entonces, como vimos, unos van hacia a un lado, los otros hacia la dirección opuesta. And when they cut it off, they never see the shutter. How these three ribbons come together and tight into the very bottom of the base. 
Yes, so that's in the bottom of the heart, right? Yes, that's right. Está en la parte de abajo del corazón. And you so, also know that, yeah. So Frank, are you saying that because of they're cutting the uh, the part of the top of the heart and the bottom of the heart, you know, doctors cannot see what is going on inside the heart? No, or outside either. Y ni tampoco de no pueden ver lo de, lo de afuera porque lo cortan y no pueden ni siquiera saber cómo está el, la estructura del corazón orgánicamente por dentro. No, I have one more thing to show you. Y tengo una cosa más que enseñarles. Let me tell you, Frank, that we have a lot of people in, in, in here in our live, which I really appreciate. We have a lot of people here. I am sorry if I cannot answer to your questions right now, but I'm concentrating and translating every single uh, word that Frank Chester says. Yo sé que hay mucha gente en vivo en este momento. Les agradezco muchísimo. No puedo ver ahorita los mensajes porque estoy concentrada en traducir lo que Frank Chester nos está diciendo y creo que es muy importante. Si nos da el tiempo, pues yo regresaré a mirar eh, todos los mensajes. So Frank, we're going to say thank you for there's a lot of people, wonderful people live right now. I am saying that right now we cannot answer the questions. We'll answer later because I'm concentrating in, you know, translating and uh, everything that you are showing us right now. And I think it's very valuable to follow you up right now. So go ahead, Mr. Frank. This is the first layer of the heart. Esta es la primera parte del corazón. The outside goes in. It uh -huh. reverses and makes an apex at the end. Like a shutter of a camera. So here it is. Entonces podemos ver la parte uh, de adentro. I put that together. See the shutter come together at the bottom? Mm -hmm. Entonces adentro right. vemos como se unen las, las, los dos uh, partes. Now it's shut. Entonces vemos como también se cierra. Okay, the next layer is La this one. Otra parte. In other words, this is inside here. And what happens is the muscles work their way up closer to the top. So this is one and eight. This is one and one and six. This is uh, five and uh, two. And here's the last layer of the heart. So the yellow one is one layer and the red one is another layer. And if I put them all together, they look like this. Okay, entonces ahora cuando los unimos a esos dos, tanto la, la figura amarilla que nos está enseñando y la figura roja, eh, se, se va a ver así. This explains all the layers and why the changes directions. Esto explica por qué todas esas, uh, esas eh, partes y por qué y las direcciones de, de la, de la, del corazón. So this is the newest discovery, and it's the, they don't know this at all. They yes, have no the descubrimiento más nuevo y no saben. So um, you have discovered everything, Mike. More, I, I believe that the chestahedron, more than a geometric form, it also gives you the insights of how the heart is structured organically for one part. And secondly, also, it gives us the understanding of how the work, heart works. So I'm pretty sure that, you know, cardiologists are very amazed with your work. What do they say when you show them this? Do they agree with you? They meet it with silence. Okay. Estoy preguntando they, don't, es el they don't say it's wrong and they don't say it's right. Okay. They el experimento del back chest. away like this and say, oh, you know what I mean? Like... They don't believe that the geometry is behind organs. Okay, entonces um, detrás de los órganos hay geometría. Yeah, I, I have some doctors that are so, I have one guy from uh, <clears throat> one of the top, that's called the uh, Mayo Clinic. Hay un doctor de la clínica Mayo. Oh boy, he just went 
wild over this. He said it was a Nobel Prize. Yeah, I agree. Dice que uno de los doctores de la, de la clínica Mayo estuvo muy sorprendido de todos sus descubrimientos y dice que Frank Chester debería ganar un premio Nobel. Yo estoy segura que así debería. I agree with you. You should be having your that Nobel Prize. I don't know what the community thinks, but I believe that you should be one of those winners holding that Nobel Prize. But even if you don't have it physically, I think you won a huge prize. And I think the prize is what you have given to the, you know, to the planet, to humanity, because geometry, it's not only a form, it also has a language. Estoy diciendo que el legado que le está dejando a la humanidad es muy grande porque no es solamente una geometría simple, es una frecuencia, nos da también el entendimiento de cómo funciona el corazón. Um, so your discoveries are amazing. Frank Chester, they're amazing. Uh, also, what what connection do you see? Now, I believe when, when you create this chestahedron, what are your thoughts? Because when we are connected with geometry, I can feel uh, some inner peace inside. And I cannot imagine what you felt when you were creating or discovering this chestahedron. How did you feel when you, you started developing this or when you had the just a heater in your hands well like i said i was it just made my whole life um exciting and i was very very enthusiastic and uh, it's hard to explain what i felt uh it seemed impossible es, es, no puedo explicar lo que, lo que yo siento al descubrir esto. No, no hay palabras. And I completely understand because that's our language, Frank. Uh, our language is a frequency level. Sometimes we cannot explain with words what we feel. Uh, le estoy diciendo que hay muchas cosas que nosotros no podemos expresar con las palabras lo que sentimos. Y ahí viene esa parte nuestra que tenemos que recordar que nuestro lenguaje original es el lenguaje de, de la frecuencia. So I believe that geometry also is very important at the scientific level, at the art level, uh, in the art field. But also I believe that geometry is very important for us because that connects us with nature. And also as a therapist, I use geometry for many, many things. And I cannot believe that you discovered this uh, just a hit in 2010, is that correct? I uh, started January 2000. Oh, wow. Él descubrió el chestahidro en el año 2000. Entonces, imagínense. Uh, what I cannot understand is that I, I love to speak about the heart coherence. And I just discovered um, the chestahidro out there when it was really there since 2000. So how could that happen? I don't know. Es muy interesante porque él dice que fue descubierto en el año 2000 y yo también acabo de descubrirlo en la internet recién. Entonces estoy preguntando cómo puede pasar eso. And most importantly, Frank, most of your work and your wonderful work in YouTube and your conferences, which I believe it's more than 100 conferences, everything is in English. Más de sus 100 conferencias y su canal de YouTube está en inglés y esta es la primera vez que estamos traduciendo al español. So how do you feel that right now in this space, in this momentum, you are reaching out to those people who speak Spanish? How do you feel about it? I'm very excited. Well, like some of my friends have told me that they're very happy that I was speaking to Hispanic people. And I am too, because yeah. I think maybe, I think, that your mentality is maybe more alert than a lot of other area people. So I, I think I'm very happy I got to speak to you. Que él está muy contento también de hablar, uh, que a través de mí, pues, estemos llegando a esta comunidad de habla español para que llegue este mensaje. Let me see if I can see who is in, in, in the live and see who we have here. We have Mirza, uh, Maya, we have Mercedes. Uh, we have Edna, 
we have Nora. Hello, Nora. Nora, I believe she's in Argentina. Um, we have Mercedes. I think she's in Peru. Juruska, it's in Mexico. And who else we have? Elsa, I don't know where she's from, but she's also watching. We have lots of, you have lots of parts and likes. So I'm very excited um, for this live event. So what would be your message, uh, Frank, to the, to those people or to those uh, kids that are looking into the science and they want to explore the art, where should they start? <clears throat> uh, Einstein said that the highest degree of mathematics is artistic and the most artistic development is mathematical. So I have balance your education between the two or anything, balance, whatever, because that's what the heart is asking for. So if you've got one side, try to look at the other side at the same time, because you see the blood is going and back and forth and twisting in opposite directions at the same time. So you have to look at the look at what you're doing, and at the same same time look at what else is going on. Look mm -hmm. at both sides at the same time. Y dice que buscar ese equilibrio entre el arte y la matemática y que la verdadera matemática empieza por el ardo artístico. Entonces buscar ese balance y que la educación sí debería ser entre lo artístico y también lo matemático. So, for, is there anything else you would like to share to us today? <coughs> Well, let's see. Um, there was one thing I thought that I wrote down here. Mm-hmm. Okay. <clears throat> um, using your hands are the most important thing. Everything you saw here, I did never use the computer once. Okay. Lo más interesante que nos está compartiendo Francesca es que todo lo que ustedes han visto, toda su creación, no ha utilizado la computadora para nada. Ha utilizado sus manos. Yes, you have to use these. Don't give these up. Don't give these to buttons. Si tienen que usar sus manos. Give them, give them life from you. Okay. Que, que, que las manos dan vida. The computers can't take this away from you. La computadora no le puede quitar esto a ustedes. Um, also, uh, there are four elements in the world. One is solid, and the second one is liquid, and the third one is gas, and the last one is war heat, warmth. Those have qualities, and they also are connected to the organs. So if you have an organ problem, okay, you can identify what element that is. So you might be in too much water, okay? Then you can work on those organs that are concerned with more water than others. So mm -hmm. life is a study and your body has all the answers and the body is and the body is the universe. It's everything. So I would say is if you can try to stay away from a lot of these machines. Mm -hmm. El cuerpo tiene todo lo que necesita. Recuerden que tenemos los cuatro elementos y si tienen un mal funcionamiento del órgano, eh, revisen, probablemente estén con exceso de agua. Y él lo que enfatiza es que eh, nosotros tenemos la capacidad y tenemos el, el, el cuerpo de organizarnos. If I had given these the requirements that this Chesterhedron has to a computer, it would burn up. It could not handle the information that's coming out of this Chesterhedron. How many sides, how many points, how many vertices, how many planes, what's the center? It has to be equal. The computer would burn up. Exactly. I think the heart is, I think all our organs are perfect but the most perfect organ is our heart. And yes. I want to show the... Uh, mm -hmm. No, it is the, the unbelievable organ. 
Unbelievable. And then I can just touch a little bit of it. Okay. And then I can present that to you guys. I mean, I, that's, I don't need any awards or anything. I, I've already been rewarded beyond compare. I, there's nothing better than what I, that I can come and talk to you. Yeah, Marianne Else also is uh, here with us on live. And she says, many blessings, many blessings to you. Thank you so much. And um, yes, I I use the pulse of the heart in my therapies because the pulse of the heart has, you know, an information in every pulse and, and from family constellations and everything. And it's funny because uh, the form that I was using in my therapies to represent the heart is this one. And uh, now I have a real one. I really have one that's a chistahedron. I really appreciate this is a wonderful gift from Frank Chester. And this is a treasure for me. I really appreciate this gift. And also I believe that you sharing this information to the audience is also a wonderful gift to humanity. Well, I thank you for inviting me. If you want me to come back and answer questions, I will do it. Yeah, absolutely. We will um, probably, I don't know, we'll talk about it. Probably we can go a series of every, uh, with the different topics about geometry and nature. I think you're a very, very wise man. You're an artist, but also through that artistic gift that you have, I think you are a person who is very connected with yourself and humanity needs to know that right now we need to understand that that awakening starts with ourself. It starts with that listening to our heart, listening to that pulse of the heart, listening to our information, connecting with our emotions. Because the heart is very sensitive and we accumulate so many emotions in the heart that later on we can get you know, physical problems. Estoy diciendo que es la era de conectar con el corazón y que debajo de ese corazón tenemos una información y que la era, el verdadero despertar es conectar con, con el corazón. Uh, my last message is, you know, to everybody who's listening, who will listen to this, is connect with your heart, connect with your pulse, connect with your emotions. Find out what you need to heal because the, the real awakening starts, you know, knowing yourself, knowing how your heart works. What would your last message be to the audience for today, Mr. Frank? Well, the heart is a balancing organ in the human body. El corazón Follow your heart. Follow your heart. Y sigue tu corazón. There's nothing more important than because it has it has all the wisdom and the intelligence. El corazón tiene su inteligencia y su sabiduría. I absolutely agree. Thank you so much, uh, Frank, for this wonderful time. I believe we have so many messages here. I believe that there's more people that are gonna um, listen to this. Uh, this video will be downloaded to uh, Frank's uh, YouTube channel also and to my channel. So if you missed this one, I think it'll stay on Facebook also. So come back and thank you so much, Frank. Have a wonderful rest of your day and we'll be in touch to see if we can collaborate with more information thank you so much have a wonderful day thank you very much have a happy day you guys nice talking to you okay y frank dice muchas gracias y que tengan y ha sido muy bonito hablar con ustedes bye thank you Y Frank dice muchas gracias y que tengan y ha sido muy bonito hablar con ustedes.